Welcome everyone to uh, Old Breed Outdoors. Uh, I am Chris and I'm here with another gear review video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about another uh, Mystery Ranch pack that is amazing and has great features and qualities about it and just another great product in their line of packs uh, for the hunter. For every hunter out there, the whitetail hunter to the big game hunter out west um, to the single day hunter working out of his truck or the day camp to a guy that likes to go deep in the back country for weeks on end so in today's video we're going to talk about the mystery ranch sawtooth 45. Um, another like i said another great pack from mystery ranch uh while this pack is still it's a few years old they've had it for a few years in their line they have updated it with the new buckles and the new frame that they came out with um, so yes it does sit on the guide light uh frame and so unfortunately if you already have the frame and you already have a mystery ranch bag um pack you are not able to buy this as a bag only um like some of the other lines that they have uh, but you can buy this pack and then you can buy a bag only to swap in and out of the frame that you want. We'll start talking about why the Mission Ranch. If you've never heard of Mission Ranch or if you haven't had a pack of theirs, they are amazing. They are strong. They're durable. They come with a lifetime uh, repair uh, warranty. So you, all you have to do is contact them if you have a rip or some of your seams or buckles break. Um, you can send it in and they will repair it for you. You got the guide light frame, all right? Special technology that only Mystery Ranch has. Um, they do. It's not an adjustable frame, so it is a hard uh, wired frame with their load shelf where the bag unfolds, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But what's nice about this pack is you got your load lifters right here, all right? And instead of just simple load lifters, so you can adjust. Where, the, where it sits on your shoulders and really taking that weight off of your shoulders and putting it on your hips like, you're, like you want it. Um, you don't have just these simple adjustments. There's also these micro adjustments in the shoulder pads themselves. So you can adjust where, how much more room you have and you can even cinch it up tighter on you. So I can bring more material in and make that even tighter on my shoulder, or I can get more material out and give it a little bit more standoff if I'm a, a broader shoulder individual. Into their five point harness. So they do have sizes. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you are sized appropriately for you um, and you don't wanna buy the wrong pack. Um, so it's just better comfort for you, making you able to haul more, uh, more weight comfortably and make it last longer in the, in the back country. So it's a five point harness, waist belt, big, durable, strong buckles uh, coming across the front. The front, the waist belt is mollied, um, so you can buy, I have one of their little pouches right here off of one of my other packs. Um, I have put it on here, just extra storage there, extra gear. The other thing I like to run is I run a wa the Mystery Ranch water bottle uh, pouch right here, because I don't like carry a water bladder. I carry Nalgene's um, or Hydro Flasks bottle style and uh, put that right here on my right hip. You have your chest strap, fully adjustable, like other things. Uh, the What's nice is on that chest strap, you have these quick attach gear secure holders. So if you're rocking a, uh, a rifle with a sling, you can lock that sling in and now you're not having to sit there and hold it and keep pinching it over. It's it's held right there on your on your shoulder strap as well. Um, or if you are running a hydration bladder, you can pinch in your hose right here, so it's always accessible for you. Um, or any other type of gear that you can think that you need to kind of hold um, in place with a little strap. So the bag, right? So that's the frame. And that's the harness that comes with all the Mystery Ranch bags. Um, great, durable, strong. Like I said. Uh, easily adjustable uh, so yes it does come in sizes so you need to right, find the right size for you but they are adjustable for the micro adjust just to add that extra comfort for you as well and there's tons of videos um, and you can call Mr. Ranch at any time and they will help you walk you through on how to size the pack for you their frame is strong and durable their harness is strong and durable um, it's got this plastic piece on the back right here to add extra rigidness 
uh, to your to your uh, frame and to your harness. And like I said, those come with all the bags. Um, one thing I love about Mystery Ranch is I can buy this pack with this frame, and then if I need to go to a smaller bag or a bigger bag, um, in many cases I can buy just the bag, um, and then I can swap it out on the, the harness and frame. And so now I'm not having to spend a extra amount of money and buying a frame and a harness that I don't need. I just need the bag, and I can do. I have that option um, at my disposal. All right. So this bag is really awesome for that hunter that is going out like on all day hunts, right? It's a perfect bag for a day hunt um, that can really transition well into a one and, and two night overnighter bag. Um, I would not use this bag personally if I was going out for three or more days. Um, you may be able to do some adjustments and, and really pare down your stuff. It kind of depends on how much gear you take. Um, and I'm gonna show you how this bag looks at, loaded out with a uh, single overnighter. Um, the other important thing is, well, the other thing to take into consideration is, are you going solo or are you going with a group? Um, if you're going with a hunting buddy or two and you guys are spread loading the gear, you know, this pack may work very, very well for a multi-night uh, trip because you're, you're spread loading that gear and you're not having to carry it all yourself. If you're going out on a single um, solo hunt, um, like I said, I probably would not pack this bag for anything more than a, a two-nighter, um, maybe a three-day or just depending on how you, how you pack your gear, um, I'd go with a little bit bigger bag uh, just to carry extra stuff and make it more comfortable for me. While this pack does not come with a, a top lid, when you buy it, it does integrate well in with the top lid. Um, it is an option that you can go with and I have the top lid from my other pack and I'll show you how it fits on just to add a little bit extra space uh, for packing in and uh, if you want that option. This bag, you know, it has the two top straps right here, kind of hold the bag t nice and tight, secured up to the uh, the pack frame itself. Come with the new quick detach buckles that Mr. Ranch offers. Easily adjustable. You can pop this buckle off move it to another spot if you if you need it if you don't want the buckle at all i know i'm personally if i'm not using a buckle i'd rather take it off um because i just don't like extra gear and straps and everything kind of hanging off all over the place but this these straps up here yes they're gonna if you have this bag fully loaded it's gonna help bring that pack up to your to your back um closest to your back like you want it and really kind of secure all your gear and then you can always lay a jacket in there or some type of piece of equipment and be able to strap it into place right here, pinching it up between the bag and the frame. First pouch that you have out here is you have a top lid, kind of a top pouch, almost like a lid pouch. Really nice spacious pouch right here. Plenty of room for all your personal devices, like your maybe your Garmin, um, your phone, your wallet, keys, you know, tags, anything that you need to access kind of quickly, but you want to have it in a secured pouch uh, right here, easy access to it. Um, maybe you put your water filtration stuff in there, uh, kind of other things. One thing that you're going to learn if you have not packed in the back country before or done any type of long endurance hunts um, out west or even out east, um, how you pack your bag is important um for functionality reasons and kind of save help save you time and just not getting frustrated having to dig everything out of your bag to then re-get back into it you're gonna have to pack it how you want right you're gonna have to use trial and error go out you know use some of the stuff that you're gonna use on a daily hunt i would recommend you know practicing you know pack your bag go out on a long hike and and run through some of those situations that you would run into, right? Like, hey, all right, we're at a creek, we need to stop, we're gonna filter water. Well, I wanna make sure I have my water filtration kit handy and I wanna have it buried in the bottom of my bag that I have to unload everything to then put it back in and pack it all up when I'm done. Uh, wanna have it handy so I can be on the go, uh, especially if we're you know, in pursuit of an animal um, and we're just having to stop for a quick water break. You got that top lid, kind of a, I call it a top lid pouch. Um, it's an external, you know, accessible pouch right here on the top of the, of the bag. 
Um, on the sides of the bags, you have two stash pouches with, you know, uh, cinches on both sides. You know, tripod can easily slide into here. You can secure it very well to your pack. Um, trekking poles can slide down in here and uh, secure to your pack as well. Or kind of just anything that you have long and kind of uh, that you want on the outside, but you want it accessible, but you can secure it right there. So you have both of those on the left and the right. What's unique about on the left side is you have this added buckle right here. It's just a little loop right here in the bag. I'll bring this up and show you guys. All right, so you have this added little just plastic guide, right? Added into the, sewn into the bag. What that does is when you cinch that down, it's really pulling that bag nice and tight um, and bringing it really close into your, into your side and into your back and bringing all that weight over. What it also does is compress the bag down. So if you don't have the bag fully loaded, it's gonna bring it nice and tight and, and low profile. All right, one thing I love that Mystery Ranch did for this year on some of these bags is they added those to really compress the bag down. All right, sometimes, you know, you know, not all of us can afford 15 different bags depending on what hunt we're going on, right? So I buy a big bag for that multi-day hunt and then if I'm just going out for the day, I still use that bag, but I'm not gonna take all my stuff. So I just, I really try to cinch it down, get it nice and tight and get low profile. And so I don't have straps and the bag hanging all over the place, getting snagged on brush and stuff like that. And Mystery Ranch has really come a long way when, when, with that and making that an option. And it makes it, the bags really nice and secure and just adds that little bit of extra. I'll show you why the reason that it's only on the one side. All right, it's only on the one side because this bag is actually a 270 zip bag. So it goes from the top, across the top, all the way down, and then all the way across the bottom and unfolds. So you can access everything inside your bag without having to go all the way from the top down. Really nice feature for that bag. But that's why it's only on the one side. If it did on the other side, they would get caught in this zipper. And when you, especially if you're, if you have it cinched way down, it would make that zipper kind of a pain in the butt to use and operate. Uh, just continuing across. So you have two straps here in the front, uh, secure any type of gear, really rifle, bow, uh, jackets, maybe some warming layers or something along those lines that you want to have easy access to. You have two straps across the top here, uh, across the front that you can secure your stuff to. And then you got two straps down here at the bottom with some extra molly if you did want to attach another bag or something like that. Another like really nice feature that I like with this bag is you just have regular buckles down here at the bottom. All right, so you don't have like a snap buckle that comes undone, all right? So you have to loosen this up and then you'd have to slide your gear in there and then you can tighten it way down. Um, I know that sounds like a pain in the butt, but I really like that option um, because it's gonna make sure that that gear is nice and secure and holds up tight. One problem I have with these bottom buckles a lot is they always come loose. Um, and that's just because all the weight's coming down on it and it's not, they just, they don't, they don't hold very tight. But with these new buckle systems like that, they do hold very well. And if I did need to unbuckle it for any reason, I can come down here to the bottom and it actually unbuckles right there. So it unbuckle. All right, and that can get a little bit extra room. You can see where it comes off the frame. All right, so that's the outside of the bag. It does have two little loops right here. Uh, on the, the bag itself, but up towards the top, if I did want to buy a buckle system and put it right here, that's where I, would, I could attach my top lid. If I didn't want to use what's on the frame itself, I could move these uh, straps very well over there as if I needed to. So now we get into this inside the bag. Like I said, it's a 270 zip. I'm telling you what, the more I use a bag with a 270 zip like this, the more I, I don't want to use any other bag. Um, if I was to only have the access from the top, 
um, it's a huge pain in the butt, all right? Especially because maybe I need to access something down here at the bottom. I don't wanna have to dig everything out of my bag to then get into the bottom, right? Usually I put my kill kit down here at the bottom of the bag. Um, and if you know I go up on my kill, I don't wanna have to pull everything out of my backpack just to get my kill kit. Now I can lay my bag down, I can unzip it all the way, lay it out, and I can access anything I want. I can kind of restack and organize my gear accordingly very, very easily and doable. Nine times out of 10, when I'm hunting with somebody and they don't have a bag that does a 270 zip like this, and they see me do that, they are instantly jealous and they want a bag that can do that, do this very function right here. So if you have not messed around with a bag that does a full zip like this, you need to go check it out and get your hands on it and try it and, and get, buy a bag and try it. it. I'm telling you, you will enjoy it and you will love it. So in the inside the bag here, you got two stash pockets on both sides uh, for any type of gear that you want. Um, if you did have a small tripod or a small set of trekking poles, you can maybe slide them in here, secure them in here. Uh, extra water bottles. Uh, you know, maybe you packed in, you got your water bladders that you're packing in dirty water um, or clean water and you can stash them in there nice and secure. Um, holding it in a good position, not bouncing all over your back. You got an integrated water bladder pouch. All right, every good bag's gonna have one. I, like I said, I don't personally care to run a water bladder, but it's nice to have that option if I needed it. Um, and then you have two organizational pockets, mesh pockets, so you can see what's inside them right here on the lid um, or on the front pouch itself, and you can organize that as well. All right, and like I said, you can see all the spacious room that this bag has. So it comes in at 2,700 uh, cubic inches. So it's a pretty spacious bag. Um, you know, anything under 3,000 is really gonna be your, like I said in the beginning, the day bag slash maybe an overnighter. Um, like I said, I'm gonna show you how um, I would pack my bag here in a minute. And then uh, weighs in at 5.2 pounds. So not terribly heavy um good weight for like i said just that simple uh overnight bag all right before i show you uh what my bag would look like with it packed out for a multi-day or a overnight or a trip i'm going to show you why these frames and this oversized uh shelf is so awesome all right so got a deer down or got an elk down all right all butchered up in game bags and everything like that now it's time to fuck time to haul it out all right so loosen up my li load lifters so i can access right in here quick push button undoes the top undo the side buckles down both sides all right, and then you're just gonna peel it off of the frame. And just like that, I didn't have to, I could have done this with the bag fully loaded. All right, I didn't have to empty my bag out. I didn't have to undo anything. And then from here, you kind of got two different adjustments. All right, so I can adjust from the bottom here if I needed to and get a little bit of extra space because of these buckles that are down here, right? Or I can, right here on the back, on the, attached to the frame, I have these two little cinch straps and now I can open up my bag and really get some good gear in there, all right? So now, once I lay in whatever I'm gonna pack, all right, quarter, bags, scrap meat, whatever I'm gonna pack. I can just take my bag, push it over the top, and then I got my side straps here to secure it to the frame. And fully adjust, and I can secure it to the frame. Use those top straps, secure it up here to the frame. And now I'm packing out meat and my pack, uh, and my camp, all in one, uh, one load. And like I said before, 
you know, all the Mystery Ranch bags that come with the ultralight frame, guide frame, you know, can do that function right there. And it's very nice to have. And, you know, now I don't need two packs. I don't need a uh, meat pollen frame and then a, a hunting bag. I have it all in one and I can do uh, that first trip back to the truck or back to main camp uh, with my camp or with at my, all my hunting gear that I needed for the day. All right, so now I'm gonna show you, you know, quickly how I would pack uh, my bag and how it would look for simple day hunting. And that is the pack fully packed out. As you can see, it is packed to the brim. Um, you know, some of the things that I could make an adjustment on is I could bring a tarp uh, instead of a full one man tent. I could bring a smaller stove instead of a bigger kind of a jet bowl looking uh, stove. You can see I have everything. I have my sleeping bag, my tent. I have everything in this bag. It's gonna explode when I do this. I have everything that I need for a single overnight trip. The only thing I don't have in here is I don't have my food um, and I don't have my water bottle. But like I said, the water bottle gets strapped on the outside, but I usually pack my food in this little stack, uh, dry bag, pack it in Ziploc bags, you know, freeze dried meal, I throw it in there. Um, I could take this and I could strap it you know, right here for the hike in, you know, or, you know, get a small D loop and I could D loop it somewhere on this bag. But I just want to show you if I was to go in solo on an overnighter trip, I could maybe, because I can pack my food in here and I could strap that to the outside of the bag, I could maybe get in with like two or three days worth of food, uh, food and I got everything I need. Um, and like I was also saying, I would pare down some of this stuff. Maybe go with a smaller stove, take up less room. Um, maybe go with a tarp, depending on the weather, what the weather's looking like. Um, go with a tarp. Um, if I'm really bold and really crazy, I would go with a quilt, not a big, uh, big sleeping bag. Um, stuff like that. Just little things like that, you can make this work. You know, if I'm going in with a buddy, maybe he carries the tent, um, I carry the stove. That saves a lot of room right there. Um, maybe I haul all the food in or something along those lines. So there's options out there You don't have to have a big giant bag. This bag will work just as well um, as anything else So I want to show you guys real quick. So this is the medium small medium uh, Five-point harness I'm six foot about 208 210 depending on which day of the week it is um, and I still have tons of adjustments. It's actually pretty secure up there. If I wanted to loosen it up off my hips a little bit, I can, and I can cinch it back down really good in the shoulder straps. I haven't even really adjusted this bag for me as either. Um, the first time I'm packing it, you, you saw it just now. So, um, yeah, fits really well balanced. Gear's not flying all over the place. It's really nice and secured in my bag, my back. Um, really comfortable, really comfortable. So I don't tend to strap my bow to my bag. Uh, usually I'm solo hunting, so I just carry it. Uh, but if I did need to pack it, strap it to my bag, you can see just how easy it is, how secure it is. I mean, that thing is not really going anywhere. It's nice and secure. I can add if I wanted to. I could come across the top here. That is it on the Mystery Ranch Sawtooth 45. Um, I know this video is kind of a little bit all over the place. I hope it helped you. Um, you know, we're getting really close to the time where we're thinking about elk hunting. Maybe you drew a tag. I know I did. I drew a Kentucky elk tag. I'm super, super excited for it. Um, I'm actually gonna be rocking this bag um, on that hunt because I'm gonna primarily be hunting out of my truck or out of a, out of a main camp and probably just going out for the day. Um, I might, depending on the location of where I'm at, I might try to do an overnighter 
uh, go out one overnight and like I said this bag can do it uh, very easily and very doable uh, for that overnight trip if you've been in the market for a new bag please go check out mysteryranch.com look at their hunting bags you know they like I said they have everything that you want if you're going out and just doing single day hunts you know maybe you're looking at the sawtooth 48 or uh, 45 if you're trying to do a multi-day trip Maybe you're looking at one of the new Metcalf bags. We have a review on that video, that bag as well. Go down here and look at that bag. Um, or if you want to do the big adventure, uh, multi, multi day trips, uh, maybe you're looking at the Beartooth 80, which we have a uh, video on that as well. So go check out other videos on gear reviews. Go to mrranch.com, check them out. Um, anything that you need, they have. Till next time. See ya.